Now, this is the mantis fly. These guys are amazing. I've, I've wanted to find one of these for so long. I did find a dead one once. Uh, one that mimicked more of a, a wasp, like a paper wasp. Had the, the orange and, and brown and black and uh, red on it. You know, kind of like a paper wasp does or some other wasp. But uh, this one looks more like a lace wing, which is appropriate because they're closely related to lace wings. Uh, they're not related to mantises. Take a look at that body. See how it's got the long abdomen underneath those wings? It's got those goldish reddish eyes that the, the lace wings have. And it's got that beautiful lime green that the lace wings also have. Now she's getting washed. I don't know if this is a male or female. I don't know if these guys are sexually dimorphic. Uh, by the way, that word means that the males and females will look different from each other. The reason why they look so much like a praying mantis is actually due to the fact that they hunt the same way. They evolved to capture prey the same way, which is like little flies and things like that. Um, apparently when these guys are younger, they also like to eat spider eggs. I remember reading something about that. I don't know if that's true, but that's what the book said. See, she holds her, her forelegs back, those, those grasping legs, they look like they're praying. She holds them back further than the uh, praying mantis does, as you can tell. But what an amazing creature. If you're actually curious as to how big it is, there's my finger. Small creature, okay? But there you have it. The, uh, the mantid fly.